Well, today we're having the 2015 Montgomery County Go Red for Women luncheon. The theme of our event is American Heart Association Goes Bollywood. This is just a fantastic event and great resource for women in Montgomery County. Heart disease is the number one killer of women in this country. More women die from heart disease than men. But women don't know that the American Heart Association and the American Cancer Society have really done great things to teach women about these two illnesses. This is just a great event for women to come out, learn about how they can, in essence, take the bull by the horns and get their heart health under control. They can learn resources about how they can keep their cholesterol in check. At the booth, we are educating them about prevention, awareness about heart disease, what it takes to really know if you have plaque production in your carotid arteries, or if you have what we call endothelial dysfunction. We had several awesome speakers. We had Monette Smith, who is actually the CEO and publisher of Review It Magazine. She has an amazing story about how she noticed she had the warning signs and symptoms of high blood pressure and took a proactive approach to take care of her life so that she could be there for her children and leading a heart-healthy lifestyle. My personal journey was an awakening call for me. I came here to be the keynote speaker, to not only share my story, to educate women who are going through the same thing, to recognize that when you are having symptoms, get checked. One out of every three women are suffering or living with some sort of cardiovascular disease. And oftentimes, we dismiss and don't take care of ourselves as women. So we have this amazing fashion show this year. The twist is that we're gonna actually have the survivors walk out with their doctors. These are the doctors that have had a hand in saving their lives and making sure that they are living free of cardiovascular disease and stroke. So this is just amazing. It really shows the wonders of the AHA and the hand that we play in our communities. We're hoping to be the biggest event in the country and to raise awareness and raise money for research and really breaking barriers and going beyond the standards. 